Hello everyone. Today's video is a review of my newly acquired Red Hill Tactical Competition Holster. I have been looking for a competition holster for a while. I was looking online for what would be the best quality price with a good feature that I'm looking for and features that I am not looking for and I found that Red Hill Tactical. So let's review it a little bit. This holster comes with two kydex. This allows you to choose from two colors and as I am a very boring person, I went with gray and gray shirt. But you can choose yellow and red or blue and white, uh, any color that are offers on the website of Red Hill Tactical. And this holster fits perfectly as it should with a tension right at the trigger guard. You can hear the click every time it sets in. It allows also for, as dictated into the competition rules, that the ejection port be uncovered. We can also see that the holster does not touch in any ways the magazine eject, where it could be with some pressure, push it inadvertently. And you also have some retention screws that can be adjusted to your wishes. And in that case, I adjusted it just perfect to hold the gun and still being able to pull it out pretty easily. The attachment you can choose on their website again, what kind of attachment you want to choose fitting your holster mount. And then we have the end of your handgun being covered up. So you have some protection there. A couple of things that are negative on this holster. One, the finish is uh, it's edgy, but not sharp. But be aware, for someone to round that edge will have cost more into the price of the holster. I can live with that personally, and probably a lot of people but you can feel that there is a slight edge on the Kydex. No big deal. The other a complaint is it would have been nice to come with fully adjustable anywhere retention screws. Those ones, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and then you adjust them before you use the holster. It is nice to be on the go and adjust as we feel like we need looser or harder retention. But again, that will have increased the price as well. Personally, I can live with it because once it's set, I'm good with it. And finally, and that will be the hardest part for everybody, has nothing to do with the holster, but for the delay before you can get your holster. There will be a 30 days before you can get your holster. It will be shipped on the 30th day, and then you'll have like three days of uh, a shipping and you, you will get it pretty fast. But still, you have to be able to hold on for 30 days. And I think that's a drawback. I don't know if uh, holster makers are that busy. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure they are losing some businesses because of that. So I wish they shortened that maybe to 15 days. I mean, something more human. Because we want it yesterday. Now, I'm not ready to use that holster for competition yet. Because I still use my beloved and favorite handgun my SP-01. And so far, I haven't found a gun that should as well or match any closely to this SP-01. So, I need a use for this one. I find an old Black Hawk holster, remove the holster, and this Red Hill Tactical fits perfectly. So now I have a paddle holster for my holster. And personally I love paddle holsters because they go in and out of the pants very easily. And there it is. I have a paddle holster ready to take with me at the ranch and use for my PTNF. Now what I like to do is if I go to the ranch with my P10 and my SP01 is that I can 
use that holster for my SP-01 as well. So I don't have to take two or three holster, one for each gun I'm going to take to the range, but one holster that fits every gun. So, so far, I'm very pleased with that holster. It's thick, it's got different colors if you are into it. Good retention, good prediction of the gun. It's in par with the rules of competition. So this Red Hill Tactical is a winner. Well, until next time, see you guys.